on just grenade spam heaven. They can throw them pretty damn far in this too, which is awesome. Oh yeah, they're getting destroyed. Taking lots of fire here. Oh, oh we got him. And a grenade's gonna blow him up. All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to more Gates of Hell. They've just did a totally huge update to the game, which has the downside that I cannot reuse the same save file from the last Conquest thing with the KV-2 or playing as the Soviets because it just wouldn't work. So one of the new things added is new animations, which people were complaining about, the idle animations there, or the lack thereof. Well, there's new ones of that. There's new medic animations. There's like dozens and dozens. I could list an entire list, but you don't guys don't care. You just want to see me play the game. So we're starting a new campaign in the Conquest game mode as the Germans this time. But I thought before we'd start, I'd show you this. So right now, you know, we're in the, uh, the good old third person control. I can fire, I can reload. You know, it's all pretty similar to what you're used to. Before, you had to play in this or in the classic top-down version, but watch this. This is the third, this is a classic one. I can, you know, see what's going on, I can sprint, I can run. But if I want to get over this wall and shoot really accurately, I can do that. But immediately I can go back to this one and sprint around and get eyes on things. Try and throw grenades or what I would personally use that for a lot would be for tank game, get tank gameplay. Because sometimes you can't really see what's going on until you get all the way zoomed out, have eyes on this enemy tank, so a tank could pop up. I can then switch this mode, right, and immediately, boom, be ready. And I can move all the way over here, the same as you're used to with direct control from Men of War and Call to Arms. It's honestly insane that they've managed to get this to work. It is obviously still a test, so bear with me as I'm finding out if any of this has any issues. I'm hoping there isn't going to be any. Um, personally, nice little drift there. Personally, I'm really excited to switch between these two uh, perspectives a lot in today's video. And if you have any questions, obviously, as always, let me know in the comment section. Um, I'll try to answer as many as I can. I did actually get the question... Hello? You guys here? I got the question the other day. Um, if I knew how much this DLC was going to be, and no, I actually do not know. I haven't been told. Um, you're going to have to wait till I know, and then there's a chance that even if I know, I'm probably not allowed to tell you right away. We're going to move up here, though. We have our half trank with the squad of infantry on board moving up. We have our BT Beute Panzer firing at that point over there. We have to start a new one because stuff, for example, like the first, the third person, back to first person, back to third person, that camera, that didn't work. I couldn't use that until I started a new campaign. So I figured that was kind of worth it. We're going to not disembark this infantry because they're currently heavily engaging the infantry over here and they're actually engaging us back. We are also playing this on hard, so I'm expecting the enemy to bring better stuff, uh, harder equipment, you know, better equipment, I should say, and it might make it easier uh, for the enemy to actually cause me some trouble in this campaign. But a large chance that I'll have to restart it at some point again when they bring large changes that will not work unless I restart the campaign. So I'm just doing this basically to showcase, um, so, ooh, that was a good one. Showcase some of the Conquest gameplay to you, but in the end, keep in mind it is work in progress and there's likely going to be changes. I mean, honestly, the whole press T to switch direct control modes is a complete surprise to me. And honestly, really excited for that uh, particularly because it just makes this game so much more interesting being able to switch right between those two abilities. It's honestly nuts. Let's see if I can get a... Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, actually, that might have been the half track that did that one. Got some infantry approaching. Might be time to move the half track up more and then do a disembark as we. Oh, press T. Oh, that was a bad shot. I'm gonna get some accurate shots into this point. There's like a couple of guys left alive in there still. Let's do a disembark. They're getting out. We'll leave our Boita Panzer on fire support duty. And then we have this one guy who needs to get out. All right. There we go. Push up. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, I thought he was gonna throw a grenade. This guy's behind us though. But we're dealing with them. We're going to call in our second reinforcement wave, which is a squad of regular infantry, uh, Panzer 3F here, with the 5-centimeter uh, gun or the 50-millimeter gun. 
And we also have this uh, two SDK of Z10, I almost said two. Oh, and uh, we'll put some uh, of our guys in there so we can hopefully transport them across the map. But it looks like not all of them are going to fit in there. So we'll put one of them, or I guess however many can't fit, we'll put them on the back of this Panzer III just to look a little bit more motorized or make it nice, technically speaking. And I guess uh, they can start heading over to the other capture point. And then after we this is captured, we'll rotate our vehicles. We'll probably leave this unit to defend the point with maybe the half track. And then the BT, uh, the Boita Panzer. Wait, we have an extra guy here? Oh, right, I forgot. I, I even have these medics. I totally forgot about that. We have a medic team. I guess we could send one here. I did call those in. And we'll keep one medic, I guess, with this uh, on the tank. And it'll look really cool. Yo, get over there, please. There we go. I guess this map is a little built up, more so than the other one, other maps I've played. So this might be um, a little useless to bring those, uh, those vehicles in, but, you know. Oh, I thought the objective was here. Remember with the KV-2, the objective was here? I guess the objective has changed a little bit, which might make it a little easier for me to dislodge them from that point. And it's just annoying. This map is obviously a little bit, like I said, more built up. The enemies are a little closer than on some other maps we've played. Every time I just move this car down the road, and we'll do a disembark, or probably a full dismount just up the road over here. Is that a KV-1 that's up there? It looks really cool. Probably do a dismount right here. And then our tank can move up. Our new squad member has arrived, which is the medic. And then we'll push up our Panzer III, disembark these people, get them with the rest. And I guess this is just a, like a driver guy, but we might as well get him out because he's getting shot at right now. I don't know if we want to promote this guy to become part of the actual squad, but I don't know if he's going to be a fan of that, so we don't have to do that. And then we have our squad here. Panzer III is pushing up. Looks really damn awesome. Panzer 3 is making their pathfinding a little buggy there. All right, we'll set up the machine gun. And hopefully we'll get some good shot. Oh, there's already an enemy tank over there. What's that, a BT? Looks like a BT-5. Okay, so we have a BT-5 Boita Panzer. That's a bounce. You can see it's smoking already. Maybe we hit something important. No, oh, well, uh, I think we might have hit something important in that one. <laughs> okay, maybe we can push up this BT. I guess that doesn't stand for Boy to Tank, obviously. Load HE. And we'll try and push. Get out of there, little piece of metal. We're taking it with us there for a second. We can get a good flanking position on this point here. Reach through the sandbags. Oh, they're not going to feel so good right now. Oh, that guy just got blown back. That was really cool. Do we have smoke on this thing? I don't think we do. Nope. Push up some more. Push half the squad up to the cover here. Go, 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 go. And then the other half of the squad to the cover on the right. Oh, some guys went flying again over there. It's really cool is we're fighting next to this like broken down KD-1. We can get any eyes on here. Oh, that's, that's someone's head. Oh, never mind. They're getting they're getting pretty much destroyed. This isn't hard. Uh, I don't know. I think the last one I did was on medium with long duration. This one is on hard with long duration. So hopefully we get a little bit more of a uh, of a good battle going. I mean, I'm already surprised there's a tank. I think don't think there was a tank right away. Oh, come on. I don't think there was a tank in our first battle last time. So that's a good change of pace. Is that a grenade to stop them? Oh, they were throwing grenades. Nice. Now it becomes very... Ooh, okay, we're good. We're good. Now it becomes very finicky. We do not want to just run into someone over here who's, like, laying down. Oh, we are capturing it. Maybe we'll push ourselves into the trenches. A little risky. Okay, go, 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 go. Look at that. And now, I guess what we could do... 
is uh, take advantage. Oh god damn it! No, move. I want to take a look at the medic animation as we move him out of the way. Okay. Oh, he's uh, actually resuscitating him right there. Okay. I was going to say we should take advantage of this time that we have and maybe try and find our medic a real weapon. So this guy had PPSH. Uh, maybe we'll find this a, a rifle for him. It probably makes more sense than a PPSH. Grab the Mosin and grab yourself... I'll drop the pistol for now. Drop yourself a bunch of ammo. Any smoke grenades will be good. There we go. Look at that. And now we got ourselves a, a medic with a rifle. And I guess if we are fast enough, we have a little bit of time. We can do the same thing uh, for the other side. So we find the medic over here. Who is this guy? Okay. And do the same thing. Oh. Grab as many of these things as possible and grab a Mosin or one that's possible to be grabbed there we go and there we go now both our medics have a Mosin which means they're a little bit more capable of defending themselves I mean eventually if I really wanted to I could start giving these guys SMGs now but I know that this is about to be captured and I don't want to do that right at the end of the battle because then you know I'll be in the middle of moving stuff around and it'll cost me you know, it'll drop the weapon, and then what if what, if they end the battle without a weapon? I, I don't have any, and they'll just be coming in with the game or the next battle without any weapon, which would be kind of awkward. So we won that one. Uh, not necessarily a super hard one, but hey, they had a tank, which is something they didn't have last time. And uh, the one guy we did lose, we did pick up. So that's pretty good. And I guess what we'll do, we'll go work in our army, and then we'll show you what we've done in just a second. All right, so for this one, I figured we could kind of stick with the same ones in phase one. So infantry, half track, and that boy to Panzer uh, BT-5. Then in the second one, I dropped the truck because it didn't really fit everyone and it was kind of finicky. So instead of that, we're just going to stick with the regular, it's the medics, and look at the medics, by the way, both have Mosins now, awesome, and that Panzer three. I unlocked the third phase. We got ourselves some Gabix Jaeger, which are freaking awesome. They have high veterancy. They have uh, MG42s and STGs or MKB42s. And this Panzer Spewagen uh, 204F, which stands for French or Französisch, Französisch uh, which is, I believe, a Panhar armored car, uh, but obviously pressed into service by the Germans. And I think it would be a little nice. Uh, suggestion or addition i should say to have the gabix jaeger the more elite infantry next to this like stolen french armored car because i also feel like the gabix jaeger um would sort of complement it very good because they are good infantry and then together with the pushing power of this 20 mil which i believe oh two point or 25 mil actually uh would be really really awesome so we're gonna fight the next battle we'll be right back all right looks like we are defending the airstrip now, I did not buy the defensive unit this time. So, as you can see, we have to rush over there because there is nothing to actually stop the enemies from just walking in. So, this is the thing. I didn't research the defenses, so now i got to rush. I'm hoping to get my guys in this half truck as soon as possible. I figured I'd send the BT to the further point. We are going to have to call in more infantry ASAP because we just don't really have anything covering this far point. And the tank alone won't have great vision. So I'm trying to remember what I got. We'll see. Obviously, we can see when we uh, have it unlocked. I think the second one, the third one had the Gabix Jaeger. So maybe we'll do the Gabix Jaeger because we just need good defensive infantry to try and hold the line. We'll send the Gabix Jaeger over here. Maybe we'll even, we'll even send his half track back, pick up the Gabix Jaeger, drop them off over here, and we'll use the. Um, the Panhar armored car, the Boite Panhar over here, just to try and win some time. So this might be rough. We have HE loaded. Yes, we do. Running into trees, as we do. Okay. Everyone disembark, including uh, this guy right there. And I think we can just send this squad back ASAP, or the car back, I mean. To about here. Okay. Start setting up our defenses. If we really have any time to do so. Maybe dig a foxhole or two. Wrong button, damn it. OK. 
Okay. Want to make sure we get these flanks secure too. Okay. And then this point, we're holding it now. So this is the regular infantry, the medic. Okay. And then this one is the, yeah, we'll get the... Try, trying to multitask here. Yeah, we'll probably end up getting the Kabix Jaeger. Put them in a half track. So hurry the hell up. So Panhar goes there. Kabix Jaeger. Get over there. Let the Panhar go first. Go, 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 go. Okay, go, go, go. Okay, foxholes are up. Might want to replace this one with the machine gunner. That makes more sense to me. MP40s are more in front. Okay, and then it's they're almost in. Oh, there, there's something here. Oh, I thought this was an auto cannon. It's not. Okay, that's fine. We'll make it work. Oh, that's not good. That hurt. And we just totally missed. Oh. Okay. Push, push up, push up. Damn it. Driver's down. I might have some issues here. Okay, this needs to come over here now. So we push up to this point. Oh, it's broken. Oh no. The only thing we got is this guy with the... Um, It's really getting used to the new direct control modes, but it's nice. It's nice you can switch now. That's honestly really, really cool. I'm trying to crawl in to a position here. Kobe! No! Come on, stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. That was not a bad hit, that was a good engine hit. Okay, shoot the BT, shoot the BT, shoot the BT, shoot the BT! Oh, that's a bounce, don't tell me you're gonna get destroyed. Oh, maybe he doesn't have the gun depression. Oh, he definitely does. And this thing is still being repaired, and my crew is injured. No, not this one too. Maybe shoot in the butt. Oh, reloading. We've got like one man left in this tank. Oh, we're we're not doing so good here. Okay, we our Panhar is up. Okay, I think that's down. But we oh, really, it was down. So they killed my BT as I killed theirs. Okay, crew's dismounting. Yeah, get out of there. Okay, well that's sort of bad. Okay, well, we do have the last call in now. So, medic, go all over here. It's last Kabix Jaeger out. Medic, I don't know if you're going to be in time. I really doubt it. So, we have to spend some time, like, fixing our stuff up here in a second. And they're coming in with. Oh, those are just tank crew. Okay, good. Oh, those are partisans? They were partisans. Send this extra guy here. So we barely survived. That was legit a little freaky. Uh, this armored car has only okay lost two of its mem of its crew, and then obviously we lost crew on pretty much the PT, which is broken. But we could maybe repair it. Someone raised the very uh, logical thing, which I totally forgot about. That if you lose, a, like if you can capture a tank. You should try to do so because that will obviously give you that vehicle at the end. Just like how, you know, if you capture, uh, like for example, the Mosins on the infantry, on the medics, I get to keep those now. So if I get to repair that BT, oh, this isn't going to go very well. I don't think, I don't think I can kill that thing. 
I don't think I can, I don't think he can kill my half track either. He can kill my infantry though. God damn it! Run away! I need more anti. I need more like I need like AT rifles or something. Oh, don't hit the gunner, please. Okay, let's be friends. Bye. Luckily, our Panzer III is coming in. They're trying to repair this BT. Maybe I have to put like a single guy in it, and it'll, uh, you know, hopefully give it to me anyway, so I can keep it and not have to rebuy it entirely. I'm also still capturing this point. Our infantry is pushing up. Thank God I had another buy-in to do, and our Panzer III is coming in. And hopefully, that Panzer III should not have any issues with, you know, a little armored car like a BA. What is it? BA 64? No, it's not a BA 64. It's BA 20. We have, oh, some infantry pushing in, but they're getting destroyed. And we'll keep our infantry from going up. Here we go. And that's a direct hit. It's, maybe that just stunned the crew because they're not firing their gun. Nice. Okay, good. Now we'll just try and repair this thing and hopefully it's savable. See, I wonder, I wonder what will happen if I save this, do I have to be in it or not? I'm going to be in it and see if I save it that way because we've just captured this. So that was very on time. I'm wondering if that's the end of this battle. If not, we could send over another rifleman. I don't even know. Maybe you don't have to repair damage between battles, but I guess... I don't, know if this, I don't know if the engine's on or not. Oh. Oh, no, it's maybe operational? No, it's just broken. We just need to send more uh, more time to repair. Yeah, a little annoying. This uh, BT-5, obviously not a very great machine, but, I mean, you can kind of see where the shells impact, which is really cool. This BT, this other BT, though, definitely uh, ain't coming back. You can see entrance hole here, one right there. I mean, it's only got 20 millimeters of armor, and the shots are just basically going straight through, even from this 45 mil gun. So, I mean, this thing just looks absolutely knackered. Hopefully, we can repair this thing enough so we can use it again. I obviously will have to pay a little bit of money to, uh, you know, replenish the crew and stuff like that. But, hey, not bad. Not bad at all. We won the battle, I guess, technically speaking. I didn't expect them to push in with... Uh, you know, an, a piece of armor. The BA, BA 20 is really an a piece of armor, but it's more armor than I can deal with with my infantry. Thank God I had an AT grenade that stopped this uh, BT in its track, so it didn't really get anywhere other than just sitting there on the hill. But that could have been really bad. That this pun harm maybe not as effective as I thought. I was really hoping it would be a little stronger than, well, what it showed. I mean, it's I guess it's not an auto cannon. That's was my main mistake. I really thought it was one. I wonder if we can just uh, knock this thing. You see that, by the way, in the bottom right? So it's gunner and charger are occupied, driver and commander aren't, and when I move forward... Oh, <laughs> damn it. The charger, the charger slash reloader, um, but became the driver. So, very close battle. Could have been bad. I'm kind of happy that I got, hopefully, saved my stuff. Let's take a look here. All right, so for example, my crew, as you can see, we've got... Uh, a lot of ghost members, but luckily we can resupply it, and that one's back up to action. Same goes for this one, and we've also uh, gotten our infantry back. I don't think we really got any energy. Oh, actually, we did get some catch loose here, but look at that. It's all fixed up. Our Kabiks here are fine. And um, I also researched the small defenses. So in case I do have another battle like that, I don't have to rush, because there at least will be small defenses ready for me to uh, you know cover, to, to get eyes on stuff. And I don't have to rush my guys and split them necessarily between at the start. So not a not a bad thing. I guess we can take a look at our next uh, mission here. Oh, there's quite a few. We have, okay, that's a lot of enemy stars there. Uh, lots of ammo, would, which would actually would be good. So why don't we select this one? Because we do, it's three, it's a thousand ammo. It's three star enemy. I like those odds. Let's, uh, let's go into battle. All right, big open map. Lots of stuff to do, and of course, this time I didn't bring the half track. So I did actually bring the half track. I just didn't bring that. Uh, well, as the KFZ-10 in the second phase, I did add on to my third one. Remember, it was that uh, Panhar armored car, the French one, with a 25 millimeter, not auto cannon, 
the Gebirgsjäger and I added a two-man anti-tank rifle team section to that because I really feel like I need some more anti-tank rifles. I mean, it's just, I feel really weak when any sort of armor comes around and I have to really rely on this BT. I'm also thinking that if this BT survives, we might have to say, you know, 07 and get rid of it, mainly because I don't really know if it's really worth using anymore at this point. I mean, in hell, it had trouble penetrating a, a, another BT-5. You know, like, it's not, it's not a great tank. We're, it's just there to really to not get shot at by enemy machine guns because it's a tank, but that's pretty much it. So what I'm thinking, we send this forward, we go cap the points, finish the battle, get ourselves, well, get rid of the Panzer, Panzer V or Panzer BT. What well, both the Panzer BT English is hard. But also, I'm considering maybe we can also get an artillery piece, uh, like a light infantry of Schutz, or uh, maybe a SIG 33, like the heavy version of that. Just anything that's more indirect than I have right now, because right now we're kind of reliant on direct damage. I'd like to maybe switch that out so we can get um, some better, some more firepower, uh, more artillery or indirect firepower. So we're kind of moving here through this field. I guess we can maybe get some early eyes on. This map does look really cool. Let's try and get close to the ground here. I guess we can maybe do quick have a quick peek here. And we'll go back to the third. I do like this perspective a lot. It's so cool. Okay, enemies aren't really uh, paying any attention. Enemies don't really like getting shot at, I found. They really don't. It's really something they don't like. So they... Oh, this is a nice little trench line over here. Send our half-track up. Maybe we'll send this more to the flank now. And then I guess we could buy the anti-tank grenadier detachment. And we'll actually maybe attach that to... I don't think they fit on here, no. And then we'll send them over here. But yeah, we'll attach them to the rifle squad that I have now. Or maybe we'll just send them along with them. And then uh, whenever we have the points for this, we'll get those guys out and up and running. Let's actually do that right now. Okay, moving out. Half track. Moving up. Tons of targets over here, that's for sure. Infantry here are not too happy about us arriving. Oh, that's cool. Looks so cinematic coming in here. Taking lots of machine gun fire, you can clearly see that. Oh, get out of there. Oh, I gotta need a medic. Oh, he's actually, he's gone down. Everyone go prone. Where did my machine gun go? Okay, Panhar is moving to the left over here. Is, is it Panhar or is it Panhar? I mean, Panhar with a soft R make, make, or Panhar with a soft D would make sense. Oh, this squad is getting annihilated right now. That's not very good. Who's shooting me? Yo. I'm not sure we need to hit this guy. Too good. My infantry is not doing so hot right now. My hat track is kind of blowing some boyos away, but okay. We'll get the AT rifle out here at least. I really should have gotten a medic in this phase. Oh well, it's whatever. Hopefully, uh, we'll have a medic soon anyway. It won't really be there in time to save some of these guys, but you know. Do we have any HE in this thing? Oh, it just carries AP. Ooh, this is not as good as I thought it was. It's really just purely for anti anti vehicle duty which is kind of limited is the machine gun still up oh, yes it is okay our bt that was a bad shot that's a better shot okay let's get our gabix jaeger pushed up call in the final thun final one Infantry, maybe we'll push you left. Could be Xavier. Can actually go with this squad right here. Uh, just like a B Xavier, I meant medic. I don't know why I said could be Xavier. And uh, half track reload. And then I don't know where this Panzer three could go. Maybe more in between, because I don't know if I'm expecting any. Um, you know, maybe we're expecting any armor. And then I, that Panzer three is probably my best anti-armor unit. I mean, this armored car is literally just a moving machine gun bunker because the anti uh, 
you know, yeah, the armor piercing on this is just not really useful against infantry. It's really not going to have any explosives on board. Oh, they're all sort of staring me down. I mean, if this was an auto cannon, this would be great. There's a guy with a shotgun over here. Should have been the top of the head there. Oh, that was a miss. Try that again. Nope. Really expected some of these guys to have some anti-tank weapons. Like, even a single AT rifle would be deadly to me here. But it just really shows to me that I need some mortars, some indirect fire support. Push up. Let the uh, machine gun do its work. And we'll curl up our Gabeef. We actually have targets on the right here. One or two. Our infantry is coming in. We might consider pulling this Panzer III up just so we can get some more uh, fire going. Infantry on the wall. you have any MP40s left over here? I'd maybe we... Oh, no. Okay. MP41. That's fine. He needs to heal, though. He's low health. Machine gunner. No, you just got shot through the damn wall. Oh, and they're grenading me. Oh, there's more grenades. Oh. Where's my medic when you need him? With the Mosin. At least it's nice that we have a, a, a gun on this guy, finally. Let me just, like, drive through this wall right here. I hope so, because I need to do some damage to the infantry in here. Let's go. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, that was really cool. Medic is... Uh, oh, we're getting some good flank and shot. Oh, what the hell was that? A tank? Is that a T-26 or something? Oh, it's a... Yeah, that's a T-26. Let's get our guys up here while we try and be careful. Half-track reverse. Oh, is it broken? Oh, it's crew shocked. Let's get you out of there. Just for right now. Okay, at least our machine gunner is up. All of our infantry here is fine. We'll send our BT to hunt this T-26 down. And I guess we could try and reman this thing. So we take cover. And I'm trying to really snipe... There he is. That's a BA-6. Isn't it? Or is it the T-26's turret? Oh, no, it's a, it's a turret. It's a turret. I don't want it to snipe me, please. Oh, you bastard. Okay, well, this squad is still doing fine. I think we just hit it pretty good. We'll get it one day. If not, we'll use my anti-tank rifle for it. Oh, there's guys in the town. I need to repair you here. Oh, we might have actually gotten that. See, I think what I could do, right? So I send, if I send a single guy over there to m sit in it at the end of the battle, I think I can then sell it back to the uh, depot. Does that make sense? Like, you know, because, like, you know, where you spent money to get new units. I'm pretty sure you could then buy them again. So we're pushing up here. And there could be Xeager forward. Trying to get a really cinematic view here. Just this river crossing. I think it could be Xeager right behind. Oh, they're swimming a little bit. We're trying to keep the MKB above the water. And then, I think, if this guy made it... So you know, like, you know, where you buy stuff? If I were to repair this and just put a single crew member in it, I think I can just sell it back. I, I might not get hundreds of rewards, but if I get a little bit, that would be great. Okay, so hope, hoping to repair that before I capture. We'll put everyone on just grenade spam heaven. They can throw them pretty damn far in this, too, which is awesome. Oh, yeah, they're getting destroyed. Taking lots of fire here. Oh, 
Oh, we got him. And a grant's going to blow him up too, I think. Oh, might, might, maybe not have blown him up. All right, hopefully we can repair this thing. It's going to take a while, though. It looks like it's pretty broken. Maybe we won't get to it. Who knows? Okay, that's a, that was a really cool shot right there. Oh, that guy got blown up. All right, I think we can now call this a pretty decent win. Even our Panzer, even our Boyka Panzer got repaired. And these two guys are still fine. And I'm hoping, I don't think we're going to be able to repair this before we capture it. So that might not be a, uh, might not be a sell-off. But it would be nice if we could. All right, more of a bloody battle. I can definitely see the uh, difficulty ramping up. A large part of that was just actually the Defender AI. And I'm kind of disappointed I only sent a single T26 in me. I was really kind of expecting them to be a little bit more aggressive. But still, pretty good gains, uh, pretty decent resources as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm hoping to get more of these out before another update, which obviously causes me to have to restart the conquest. But for now, let's see you guys in the next one. Cheers.